Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy and today's quick tip is on ScreenFlow 9. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create a ScreenFlow template. So when you create a new ScreenFlow project, you can select your template and when you're done recording, all of the clips will fall into place exactly how you laid it out in your template. You can create templates from an existing ScreenFlow project or you can create a template from scratch. If I go to the file menu, I will see save as template. But when I select this, I will get this error message that says no template placeholder clips. Before a document can be saved as a template in ScreenFlow, you need to first add at least one template placeholder clip. To add placeholder clips to your template, click on insert from the top menu and select template placeholder clip. There are three placeholder clip types. You can have all three clip types in your template but you can only add one instance of each clip to your template. So first I'm gonna select screen recording and click on insert. You'll see I get this placeholder clip that just looks like any other clip that you would have in ScreenFlow. You can drag it out. What I'm gonna do is basically build what I've already recorded for my tutorial. I'm gonna grab my logo layer. I'm gonna bring it down here. So I'm just gonna delete the clip that's already there. I'm also gonna come back to placeholder, insert, template placeholder, and I'm going to select camera and microphone. You'll see that the first option is grayed out because you can only add one instance of each. So I'll click on insert and I'll get a clip again. I'm going to drag this above it. So my webcam will always be above my screen recording. I'll select this and I'm going to delete it. You can add any graphic elements to your template. So maybe you have stuff in your global library. Maybe you want to add a logo in the bottom corner of your videos. Anything you save in your template will automatically populate whenever you create a new project from your template. You can also resize your placeholders. So this top layer is my webcam. Let's say that you like to always have your webcam down in one of the corners in a smaller size. Well, you can line it up exactly where you normally like to have your webcam. And then when you create a new project from your template, the webcam will be sized and positioned exactly how you have it in your template. When you have your template exactly how you want it, Come up to the file menu and select save as template. You will no longer get that error, but now you have the option to name your template. As you'll see here, it says templates are documents that can be used as a starting point for your recordings. So if things don't come out perfect when you create a new project from your template, you can always adjust it, but you can get a good starting point and just save yourself some time. So I'm gonna click on save. So the next time you create a new ScreenFlow project, you can come up to the file menu and go to new and on the left side you're going to select new from template select your template that you just created you're going to click on this button right here the configure recording screen will come and then when i'm ready i'm going to click on the red record button and when you create a new project from a template when you're done recording everything that you have in your template will automatically be added to your timeline you can also create a template from a blank document then build out your template with placeholder clips and graphics. For placeholder clips, you're gonna to go to insert, template placeholder clip, and select the placeholder clip types. When you have your template the way you want it, you're gonna to go to the file menu, click save as template. Give it a name and click save. To use a new template, you're gonna to go to file, new, new from template, select it, click a new document, and then select record. My name is Mike Murphy, and that is how you create templates in ScreenFlow 9. Cheers.